Hello. So this might surprise you, but there's actually two ways to eat crisps or carbohydrates or chocolate that will either help you gain weight or lose weight. And this comes up in consultations all the time. So the thing is, is that you might be kind of thinking, well, I'm overweight anyways, and I need to lose weight. So I just can't have crisps. I can't have chocolate. I can't have carbohydrates which is rubbish, because let's look at the bigger picture here. The bigger picture is that you just want to get to your healthy weight and you want to stay there long term. So if you were at your healthy weight now, do you really, really think that you're just never ever going to eat crisps or chocolate or carbohydrates again? Like if you do, that's not really realistic. And if you do, that's probably what's blocking you from getting to your goal weight anyway, because it just seems so miserable. So first things first, let's get it clear that you are not a better or a worse person by being overweight now, and you won't be a better person by losing weight. That's got nothing to do with anything. And equally, you're not weak or there's nothing wrong with you if you eat junky foods. That doesn't make you a bad person either. So sometimes we kind of need to get out of our own heads and out of this problem and kind of say, do you know what? If I had crisps, so what? If I had chocolate, so what? We kind of need to build a better confidence level so that, like I say, we can just get to this weight that we want to get to and stay there long term. So if you have had issues with food or dieting or if you feel fat at the moment, when you do eat foods that you deem bad, you're probably doing it in a guilty way and you probably have lots of guilt and regret. And maybe even you might notice that when you're eating them, your posture might be down. Or maybe you do things like you eat with the fridge door open or like the cupboard door open or the packet of biscuits open and you're just shoveling them all in and you're thinking about how fat you're getting and how much you need to diet or exercise tomorrow because of it. So all of that is the opposite of mindful eating and all of that is a way to make sure that you're going to eat overeat again tomorrow and the next day and the next day because you're creating this really warped relationship with food. You're making yourself the bad guy for having high calorie foods and you're creating all this guilt and shame and regret out of nowhere like, like let's just think about it again think how many sleep, slim people there are in the world that eat chocolate and crisps and whatever else they want you know and thankfully now I'm one of them and I'm not saying that you want to eat those things all the time because they don't give you energy ultimately and you don't feel good from them but I'm just saying there's not a problem to eat those things sometimes. So when you are eating them, eat them loud and proud. And where possible, don't eat them on your own. Like eat them in a social situation and let's just clear that name of them being bad for you. No foods are bad for you. And if you've been dieting for a long time, you have this idea that they're bad foods and good foods. And of course, the bad foods just make you want them more. So instead, it's kind of shoulders back, chin up and kind of with an ex like an exploring kind of attitude to the food so you're a connoisseur now of all foods and all foods are equal and you're going to have these crisps or the chocolates or whatever and you are going to see are they to your liking because this is the other thing sometimes when we're on diet mode we just presume a bad food is going to be nice but let's just think about it if you're if we're going to have a long life ahead of us with chocolate and crisps and stuff let's pick the very, very nicest ones. And also, if we know that we don't feel great after them, they're, they're not gonna be what give us vitamins and minerals and loads of nutrients and stuff. Well, then when we are having them, let's make them the tastiest, tastiest things. And then, like I said, you know, get out of your own head afterwards. There is never any need to feel guilt or shame around food. It's really just burning and warping the relationship that you have with yourself and with your food if you feel guilt or shame after eating it like bigger picture really doesn't matter if you eat crisps or not really doesn't matter so i hope that helps and i'll see you again next time Bye bye